table below lists the marital status for a random selection of government employees along with their job status. If one of the employees is randomly selected, find the probability that the employee is low skilled or single. Alright, so when I read this problem, the first thing that stands out to me is they're asking for probability. I also notice that they're only selecting one employee, one randomly selected employee. And then I see this word or jump out at me. At that point I know it's addition rule of probability. One randomly selected, looking for probability, and we have the word or. Putting those together I think it's addition rule of probability, so I'm going to go ahead and write the formula as probability of, in this case it's going to be low skilled or single. So let's use L or S as a shorthand for that low skilled or single. Alright, and then it breaks down to the probability of low skilled plus the probability that an employee is single minus the probability that we have a low skilled single employee. Alright, so put those two categories together, remember in that last one, right? Single and low skilled. Okay, then we write our three basic fractions. This is going to be the number of low skilled employees over the total. This one will be the number of single employees over the total. And then what do we put here? We put number of low skilled single employees. And that of course will be over the total. Alright, so those are our three fractions that we have to evaluate. It's not too hard to find the numbers that go in here when you have a nice table layout like this. So let's go ahead and identify the numbers of importance to us. We'll need the number of low skilled workers. So number of low skilled, well here's the low skilled row. There's a total of 955 of those workers. So 955 goes there. The total for the entire study is down here. A full 8,235. I right, don't have the number of single workers. Number of single workers, that'll be 337. Divided by the grand total of 8,235. And finally, we'll subtract off the number of low-skilled single employees. So these are the people that are both of these things, right? They're both low-skilled and single. Okay, so single is this column, low-skilled is that row. Putting it together, it'd be this number, right? That's the single low-skilled employees. Everybody in this category are both single and low-skilled. So that's your 58. That's the intersection between these two categories, right? Like if these were roads, the single road intersects with the low skill road right there at that location, and that's where the 58 resides. Okay, so 8,235 again is that denominator. And to finish, we simply do the arithmetic. 955 plus 337 minus 58. The total then on top becomes 1,234 divided by 8,235 and after doing that we get a total of 0 0.1498 or basically 14.98%. Okay, almost 15%.